games and codes, gitway.com is the place for you. Link is also in the description. What's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 18 video. And today we're going to talk about the new title update, the new gameplay patch that EA Sports has announced. They have some uh, incredible changes guys and uh, in the next couple of minutes we're going to see exactly what they will implement new in the game or what they will change. Okay, so latest uh, FIFA 18 update is available now for PC. It will be available soon on uh, Xbox One and PS4. They are saying in the coming weeks, dude, come on, you gotta make it available faster for sure. And the biggest uh, changes, guys, made in gameplay are made ground passes and uh, ground through passes less effective when blindly passing the ball between 90 and 270 degrees where zero degrees is the direction the player is facing. That's so important. Let's see because they also have uh, some other paragraphs about uh, passing. Most significant impact will be seen between the angle 140 degrees and 220 deg degrees. And uh, the impact scales uh, when the angle is between 90 and 139 will be smaller I don't want to get into more details trying to explain you this, the idea guys, simple, simple. When your player is not looking anymore at the teammate and if he's moving to the left or to the right a bit, his uh, ball speed and the accuracy of the pass will be reduced. The further you look away from the player, the less uh, the speed the ball will have and less accuracy. And they've also added disabled user controlled reactions when locked to a player when the goalkeeper is holding the ball. Okay, other issues uh, addressed in gameplay. Goalkeeper sometimes parrying the ball into his own goal. Good one. Goalkeeper diving too early. Players sometimes uh, becoming invisible during a match. It didn't happen to me. Dragbacks not working when rapidly tapping the modifier button. Okay. Nice, nice one, nice one. The drag back will be overpowered again. Uh, player being unable to string together multiple step overs. Nice, so skill moves more responsive. The goalkeeper in some situations being unable to throw the ball after making a save close to the goal line. Player automatically passing the ball from a set piece after the game has been paused. Hadn't happened to me. An issue with custom controls where movement with the directional buttons, uh, okay. This hasn't happened to me, but I hope that for the ones uh, of you that did happen, this will help a lot. Ultimate team changes. Uh, objective tile to the pause menu, okay. Added guest mode in foot online seasons and foot online draft, which is awesome, superb. This, yes, this is incredible, guys. This is something that FIFA has missed. Disabled the FIFA trainer within foot champions. Ah, FIFA trainer, uh, so you can never press uh, the right analog so you see the trainer, it's normal guys, it's normal. Uh, address the following issues in FIFA Ultimate Team. Squad building challenges, we're tagging a group of challenges, okay, I'm not interested in that. Icons displaying their current age on in-game overlays, wrong badge, that's good. Uh, something else interesting here, online modes, players crashing when matching in pro clubs friendly, okay. Audio visual changes. Anyway, guys, I will leave this um, link to the page of the update in the description so you guys get the chance to check it out and see exactly. Oh, they're gonna change also the volume of the audio in the Cristiano Ronaldo celebration. Interesting. So you can check it out in the link in the description. All the changes. The most important ones, what I understood from this. We're gonna have less accuracy at passing. It's interesting. We're gonna have uh, improved skill moves. The response will be improved. Those are, in my opinion, the biggest two changes. I don't think if I missed, oh, oh, of course I missed. Also the guest mode will be a great new addition in the game. Three new things that will improve, in my opinion, the game, hopefully. It is what happens and they don't also change other aspects of the game without announcing it because EA have been known to do that. For example, they didn't mention uh, changing the defending in the previous update, but after the previous update, defending was uh, much better than before. So hopefully they uh, 
also don't change other things or at least if they change other things without announcing them let it be good things that would improve the gameplay so guys we're gonna wrap it up for today drop a like if you cannot wait for this update to be available also on your console thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe for more fifa 18 videos my name is Sophie, and i'll see you guys later I'm not a